800-597-1441. Check this out. A rare hat-shaped cloud appeared near Mount Fuji after a strong typhoon swept through Japan. The hanging cloud was seen in the sky Wednesday morning. The phenomenon apparently occurs when strong winds swirl around Mount Fuji or after tropical storms. But experts say such clouds rarely appear at this time of year. The cloud disappeared after about 30 minutes when the skies got overcast. Yeah, isn't that amazing? They're called lenticular clouds, and they're, they're, they're standing wave clouds. If you were to animate that, there's actually air going through it, but the air is rising over the mountains and condensing at a certain level, and so uh, the cloud appears stationary, and it looks like a flying saucer. And it occurs frequently around mountainous areas. You see them out around, uh, oh, uh, Mount Olympia, out in the Pacific Northwest or uh, the Alaska oh, wow. mountain ranges. It's, it's very cool. I want Not you folks at home to know that he didn't even know that story was going to be on. That just this, is off the top of his head. Oh, I think you, know, you were amazing. It, 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 well, it, it, thank you, Dina. I'll tell you, but, you know, it's, it's amazing the number of viewers who see those things and, and uh, send them in. That's one of those phenomena that uh, catch people's eyes. As was this, uh, you guys were reporting about this earlier, Dan and Dina, this mammoth flood in Duluth, Minnesota. Look what happened here. This took out roads, produced sinkholes, nine to 10 inches of rain. That's one shot right there. Uh, this is uh, from uh, Victor Martinez. Look at the road that collapsed right there. It's been described as a war zone. There's a sinkhole uh, up in that area. This all hit uh, night before last and into yesterday morning. And it's what happened when our hot, humid air went north, encountered the jet stream, was lifted, and produced uh, training thunderstorms that occurred over that area. And we've had clusters of heavy rain like that in various parts of the Midwest. Just happened Duluth got under it. And they're in an area where it has rained repeatedly like that. They've had uh, big rains, not quite as intense as that one. Time and again the last couple of weeks, so this whole area of the upper Midwest, while we sit in drought in many areas, is uh, dry, uh, or is wet, and uh, in no no need of rain, that's for sure. Well, these are the frontal clouds that are going across the area. This is the same front that sparked those thunderstorms north of us yesterday. These little showers uh, are associating themselves with some thunder in parts of Michigan and also in far uh, northern Indiana. Just east of Lake Michigan, we'll show you some a cluster of storms there right now that are starting to electrify. Here's the radar. You'll see the lightning flashes as this little area develops there. And there'll be further development of this front as it moves eastward. It's thunderstorms. But uh, for Chicago, they're coming to an end. It's raining right now in some areas and coming down locally with uh, some gusto. But we're not going to get big amounts of rain out of it. Here, by the way, is a closer look at this towering cumulonimbus cloud there and the lightning it's producing in north central Indiana. And there are other storms up here in lower Michigan. See these things towering over Lake Superior? They've just come off the lower sections of Michigan right there. So these air, these storms are piling up along the front where the cooler, less humid air that is breaking our heat wave uh, comes in contact with uh, hot humid air out to the east. See, no radar returns upstream, so this is over pretty soon, and we're not getting a lot of rain out of it. These are some weather bug rain totals at the British school here in town, at King Elementary School in Griffith, Indiana, and in Lombard. Here are a couple other ones, Markham, DeKalb, Downers Grove, uh, Trever, Wisconsin, just a couple hundredths of an inch. So these are not drought busters. We need a lot more rain than that. It's 67 at the Peggy Notabart Museum in Lincoln Park now, 73 here on the northwest side at WGN, 79 at Munster, uh, other temperatures at 12 noon, 74 in Chesterton, and we have a 72 going in Carpentersville with a uh, lot of sunshine that disappeared as this front came in, but the front will be exiting the area soon. Here, by the way, is that bullet we call it. It's a heavily concentrated area of rain where the thunderstorms fired for hours uh, right across Duluth right there. For us, uh, we've had the sunniest June in 24 years around here, also the warmest in 25 years. 83% of our possible sun. Frank Wachowski, our a uh, veteran observer at Midway Airport tells us 65% is normal this time of the year. And look how little rain. This is the percent of normal rainfall at Aurora, at O'Hare, just 18% for the month of June. Valparaiso's at 63, but West Chicago and Waukegan at 14 and 12% of their possible rain, respectively. We're dry. Uh, an area around Kankakee County was hard hit last week, as was uh, an area of northwest uh, Indiana. But other than that, we've missed out on a lot of the rain. It's 16 degrees cooler than we've been uh, than we were yesterday at this time, and you can see the more moderate temperatures that are moving into our area. This after a 95-degree high yesterday, not only here, 
But North and Kenosha, Midway had 94. That was the second 95 in a row and the 13th day this year that we've had 90 degree temperatures. And we pointed out the East Coast is really broiling. LaGuardia hit 98 in New York yesterday. Newark was 78. Atlantic City, 95. JFK at 94. The heat waves tend to get hotter out east because they rise, uh, the warm air masses rise over the Appalachians, then sink going into Washington, Philadelphia, New York, uh, Boston. You get compressional warming, and so you take a mid-90 degree air mass and it turns into a 100 degree air mass with that compressional warming out on the east coast. 70s across the area now, no heat in our area with northwest winds blowing and the humidity's uh, dropping and a beautiful day ahead tomorrow from all indications. Well, here's the forecast. Uh, this is our first day out of the 90s of the last four. Um, in fact, five of the last six days have had 90 degree temperatures in Chicago, but not today. High of 83 with increasing sunshine as the skies begin to clear later this afternoon. Northwest winds at 8 to 18 miles per hour. Tonight, uh, clear, cooler, and less humid, low 65. Northwest winds will be light. Tomorrow, a gorgeous day, sunny, warm, comfortable humidity, high 84. Forget the lightning that we're showing you right there. And partly sunny and warm on Saturday, high 88, but low 80s at the beaches. Be a little late breeze tomorrow, too. Could be a shower thunderstorm for the Pride Parade. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. And that's the Sunday outlook coming up. All right, okay. Look forward to it. Thank okay. you. Okay. Dina, Thanks, Dan, Tom. see you later, guys. Right. Time now for today's trivia. The word fettuccine is Italian for what? Noodle, ribbon, or sauce? The answer is still ahead on the news at noon.